what we're gonna be talking about is these five hazards on the right side of your screen. We're gonna go over them very briefly because they're very important, but they're kind of common sense. We got a right turn right here, paying attention. What you doing, buddy? Anyways, here we go. Number one is oncoming traffic. Now we don't have to deal with it too much out here with medians or anything like that, but I like to think of anything as a path of travel violation as an oncoming vehicle. Okay, so we got these sides of the vehicles and these right turners or left turners coming up to the intersection, which now I'm going into orange stage, so I'm gonna roll off the throttle. I'm getting ready to downshift and I'm gonna start doing that and now I'm gonna apply some progressive brake pressure, plan my ride by getting myself in a good position for safety because I'm still going straight. So either way, oncoming traffic. So if you're out on a road where there's only a centerline stripe and there's no median, uh, one thing you gotta watch out for is wind blast, debris getting kicked up at your face because that hurts waving at other riders that aren't paying attention and then oncoming cars obviously at intersections like that and we got you know intersections right here you always got to watch out for oncoming cars but medians kind of help out with the wind blast and keeping things in a good situation where you're prepped and ready and know when things will come out but this is a huge danger for motorcyclists so pay attention to those left turners that's the biggest one here all right number two is well here we go cars waiting to turn now like i said it's gonna be left turners or right turners or anybody that you see inside of the vehicle now right here we got a left turner coming up so i'm gonna get prepped and ready i'm gonna go and give myself a good space cushion move to lane position three present myself a little bit better so they can see me because of motion and now that i'm out of here i'm gonna go back into yellow stage where i'm zoned in to any other hazards we still got more up ahead so once again when you're out riding in town you need to be paying attention for any of these specific pertinent hazards. If you see the side of the vehicle like that one right there, now they're gonna go out into their hopefully the first available lane. There you go. So that's the pattern I want you to be paying attention to, okay? Now here's the thing when it comes to motorcycles and cars, car drivers are not as trained when it comes to motorcycle riders. Motorcycle riders have to do uh, classes, especially out of, uh, out of the United States. I gotta prepare for this one. But uh, we are also very, very vulnerable, which makes us to be hyper alert and makes us want to look and train more than car drivers. Car drivers are very comfy. They uh, enjoy the comforts of it and they don't really see or need to know the dangers too much because they got seatbelts, airbags, crumple zones, all those things. So they don't really care or know about speed. They don't know about what it is we have to do. So people in cars have a bad judgment of speed they think they can make these turns in front of us, but they can't. You know, we're closer than they think. You know, they have to pay attention, but they don't. So it's our responsibility to make sure that we are being as safe and smart as possible. So the five biggest dangers to motorcyclists on the road, number three, panic stops. All right, so we're gonna be making sure that we're not doing that. Now, how do we do that? All right, so it's not gonna be like, oh crap, they came out of nowhere and I had to slam the brakes and lay her down. That's not the case, okay? If, if we're having to slam the brakes at the last second, we got a little poo-poo in our pantalones and went into brown stage, we need to be going into red stage. If you don't know what the color code chart is, we do have a video on that and make sure you pay attention. It's an older video, we might have to update it, but panic stop. So right now I'm not paying attention. It's a red light coming up ahead. Oh crap! No, you need to pay attention. As a smart rider, you're seeking out and recognizing hazardous situations. And if you notice, I'm not panicking. I'm coming to a nice stop. I'm using the rear brake and engine braking this whole time. So you could utilize that. You don't have to go crazy all of a sudden last second go boop and slam the brakes, okay? So that's what's getting a lot of people. Now, intersections are pretty easy to, to, to see ahead. But when a vehicle comes out at you and they get in front of you like a left turn or right turn, ooh, they might make you a little poo poo and you get panicked. Now, the thing is, you can see that pattern ahead of time. You can be prepped and ready, go into orange stage. You already get your hands on the brakes, already starting to squeeze, reduce your perception, reaction, braking distance, equal total stopping distance. You can easily do that, okay, if you pay attention. So seek out and recognize those hazard situations, be a smart rider, and you will have less and less and less panic stops, everybody, okay? Pay attention, all right? Another thing that really gets motorcycle riders that you gotta be paying attention to, it's a big danger, it happens all the time, a lot of new riders, and it could be experienced riders, is gravel or any type of surface hazard, road surface hazard. So you can have paint, you can have water, you can have oil, you can have anything. You notice I increased my space cushion because I see these turners right here. Okay, big dangers, big dangers, plan my ride, you know, I'll locate them, adapt to them if I have to. All right. So gravel, be very bad, especially in a turn. So turning requires traction on your tires. Riding right straight takes traction. Doesn't take a whole bunch. 
it's it's natural for the bike wanting to stay up but when you're turning it needs traction for turning it needs traction for acceleration it needs traction for deceleration it needs traction like i said for turning so if we're in the middle of a turn it needs traction if you're giving a little bit of throttle in the turn it needs traction you only have so much traction on your tire that's why you have hard compounds soft compounds race compounds touring comp like all these different kinds of tire compounds that allow it to grip the road in a different way stronger better slower whatever it is but if you're riding in a turn and there's gravel that wants to take away some of that traction i'm gonna watch out for that bag <laughs> it wants to take some of that traction well guess what it doesn't matter how good of a rider you are it doesn't matter it's going to go ahead and take it away from you so the best thing you could possibly do watch out fool hey calm down uh, is to reduce your speed, reduce your turning angle, and obviously avoid the gravel in the first place. Now, if you can't avoid it because you have a gravel road you got to ride on, or if you have definitely gravel across the whole road, what do we do? Go ahead and straighten it up a little bit, go as slow as possible over it, and then once you pass it, go ahead and go your normal speed. That's really what it is. So, gravel is easy to handle. I do have a video on that, so that will be linked in the description. Make sure you pay attention. That's a nice parking lot right there. Woo! I love it. Anyways, all right, so number five, we kind of talked about this, all right, with the gravel. So the number five out of the five biggest dangers of motorcyclists on the road is too much speed through a corner. Too much speed. A lot of motorcyclists die or get injured because they failed to negotiate a corner. Another thing that really gets people is vehicles turning left in front of them and motorcyclists striking an object, okay? So that's gonna be number two. Uh, danger for motorcycles is the cars waiting to turn well number five is going to be failure to negotiate a corner because we're going too fast it's usually what it is M the biggest factor involved with that we got a side of the vehicle right here but the biggest factor involved when it comes to crashing in a corner is just too much speed now it might be just too much speed for you not your buddy your buddy can handle it you can't maybe you can your buddy can't so it's too much speed for the rider not too much speed for the corner so you need to take uh, stock of what your skill is. You need to realize what it is you can do. You need to be paying attention. You need to uh, pay attention to road signs. If, the, if there's a bunch of chevrons or if there's a signage that says, hey, you know, the speed limit is 40, but take this turn at 15. Oh, you gotta be paying attention. That is a good recommendation that this corner might be, I'm gonna get out of this guy's blind spot. This corner might be an issue for you. So pay attention to that, make sure you're taking these corners nice and easy, so the easiest thing you can do is slow look, press, roll. Slow look, press, and roll, boom, you're gonna make it through the corner, you're gonna do good. You can always add speed later. It's hard to take speed out of the corner when you're already halfway through it, panicking and everything, and then boom, you panic break, and then you dump the bike because you went too fast in the corner, and then you go off the cliff, and then you keep falling for 100, 100 miles, I don't know, anyways. Make sure you guys are paying attention to that, okay? The five biggest, the dangerous to motorcyclists on the road are those let me know what you think in the comments. So that could be more. With that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll be seeing you later.